Okay, uh, thank you very much. Uh, we will start because um, we have just a little time. We were trying to go fast through the slides and we have like a quiz at the end. We are doing, uh, let's hope we, we all pass this grade, right? So thinking outside the, outside the box is not fought with quality. Um, think outside the box is not fought with quality, I, I, I say. Um, the CEO for 3M, he used to say, you have to kiss a lot of frogs to find a prince. But remember, finding a prince may reward many, many frogs kissed. And we always know 3M like an innovation uh, brand. Often, people who, who question traditional ways of, do, of doing the things is rejected because our education system is made to appear uh, the creativity of the people. Um, that's one proposal I'm making. So we are seeing why in the next slides. Um, in this paper, I intend to give an introduction of the process of innovation to give some examples that thinking outside the box is not thought with quality to highlight the failure of the essential part of innovation and uh, should be valued. And final, finally, to give some examples of big, big thinkers or big, big innovators that have uh, failed in some, some of his uh, research. Um, the main idea of doing that is uh, for encourage people to fail. You know, to fail, it's okay. If you don't fail, you cannot be creative. You cannot innovate. So, uh, what's innovation? Okay, uh, I, really, I really want to tell this. Uh, innovation is not an object, it's a culture. And we, we try to kill that culture since our education systems. Okay, innovation. Innovation is the, en this, is the, uh, the, the engine that transforms ideas into value, you know? Um, Creativity is the process to have original ideas that people value. So uh, we need uh, both together in order to have new products or better products or better process or things like that. Um, you can basically uh, spread innovation in four ways. That is product innovation, process innovation, organizational innovation, and marketing innovation. So... Why people don't innovate? Okay, uh, basically, I I proposing three three reasons why. First, the education system kill creativity. Uh, our education is is based on the on on the idea: if you fail, you are wrong. Um, you cannot fail, but if you don't fail, you are not going to do anything original. Uh, because people are afraid to change. You know, when uh, people is just in his zone, they don't want to be bothered. So if something new comes, they, they, they think they are maybe losing his job or losing his um, place or they, they have to learn something new and they are afraid. Sometimes they are too old or too stupid to learn something, but that it's never true. And because people think uh, there is no need. Uh, Why are people afraid to to the change? Okay, because change takes away people from their comfort zone. As as I was telling, uh, when someone is doing always the same, he knows how to do it, and he thinks he's good at, at doing that, and and he don't want to be bothered, right? Um, he just go to his job, and I know eight hours do the same thing always, and, and, and he say, he, he know he's good at that, at that. but you know, uh, people in a lot, a lot of uh, different factories are, are doing lateral thinking, uh, different ways of do the same, and they may kill your company if you don't do that. Why? Because uh, change means something new. You have to learn again. And, you know, a lot of people don't, don't like changing, don't like learning. So, so they say, okay, I now have, have uh, 35, 40 years. I don't want to learn anymore. And, and you can see it in any 
population you can look look at that and one other thing it's that people uh believe change takes away uh what you have sure you know i have my job my job is sure because i'm doing this from this company for several years and if something comes with a different way to do that um, my work is not needed anymore so i may be fired and that's wrong okay um other reason is because people will not want to change because it uh neither is the benefits of the change you you may have this trouble when when you're in a factory or in education and you tell someone hey uh, why don't we try to do things in this way not this way a lot of them say hey we have uh, 25 years doing this thing this way why are you uh, where are we going to do this in other ways so i think it's it's never never a good idea to have those thinkings you know if we had those thinkings uh we, why uh, how how are we achieving the cell phone for example um well this is the the main point i i want to to say the education system is focused on killing creativity first of all uh, all education systems were invented Uh, to meet the needs of industrialization. Uh, that's why they are based on science. You know, they're not based on arts, for example. So education is focused on develop the brain. And if you want to be specific, just half of the brain, the, the science of mathematical researching. <laughs> Nowadays, uh, education is kind to, to change a little bit, but... It, it, it continue to be based on search development and search uh, devol devolving. Um, and new generations of educators were educated, uh, focused on that, the, on the importance of, of the science, you know? So if they were uh, teach like that, they have to teach like that, or, or, or them feel like they have to teach like that, but that's not true. If they think outside the box, they can see there are several ways of, of educating away from that idea. And our education system is based on the mistake uh, are the worst thing a person can do, which, as I have said, is incorrect. You know, uh, if, uh, if we think like this, you know, um, what, what, has, what, what would be the the um, the way of thinking in Graham Bell or Edison, we wouldn't have a lot of things we have today, right? Uh, we are educating people to stop uh, being creative or, in other words, to have terror to mistakes. Educating people uh, not to innovate. So it's why I say that education makes us less creative. Um, Until children uh, do not worry about uh, being a mistake or uh, being wrong, because nobody thumbed, uh, they are fair to, to the error. So that's why we, we see the child, they are so creative, so they are innovating each moment, they made us laugh. Because of that, they, they, they not to, don't say, hey, don't be wrong because you, you're going to be stupid or you're going to fail this. They don't care. And really, and we do see really talented people staying outside of the universities because their talent is not fill the education system requirements. No? Oh, we, we all know uh, cases of people that have made a lot of money, big companies, and they just don't go to the university or they were not the best students there. So... Uh, what's the joy of innovation? What mo moves people to innovate? According to my research, uh, the detection of a problem, it's the first one. The need to do something more simple. Uh, lateral thinking, th that's something we should try to, to, to teach to everyone, not, not, not only in the, 
in the school, but in the hind industries, lateral thinking, uh, laziness or the analysis of value um, creation process. That's the main point. What's the, pro the proposal process of innovation? Okay, first of all, brainstorming. Uh, it could comes from social network. Um, create multidisciplinary teams, then measure the risk of the ideas, select the ideas, um, putting some criteria. Um, generation of concepts, rival value generation, review of technical viability, affordability, and then uh, uh, project phase of our technical development and then prototype that uh, new, it could be new process, new marketing way, new idea, you know. So, can you imagine your life with uh, some of those items? The electric bulb from Edison? It could be hard, right? Uh, the remote control from Robert Alver and Eugene Polly. Um, modems. Uh, matches. Clocks. Um, I, I won't stop in this. Um, some, some of them, like this, were even used for bad people to make bombs and things like that. But unfortunately, that's a good example of lateral thinking, you know, using someone that, that you know it's working to make another proposal. The phone for Bell cell phone, uh, iPhone, or any uh, Apple thing by Steve Jobs, the laptops, the radio. You know, now we are, we are trying to make this, this, this test. This dynamic uh, briefly tells you what was the inventor idea and why did it not work. And it's expect that those attending these talks guess who was the inventor, right? So I want you guys to help me with these ones. First one, um, automotive powered by nuclear fusion. When you read that, you know why it's a bad idea, right? I, I, don't, I can't imagine myself putting, putting plutonium in my car tank, right? So in the 60s, there was a proposal of building a car with an engine that worked by nuclear fusion. In fact, their design uh, considered a um, compartment for plutonium. The project was drawn and even some parts of the model were made. This project never was manufactured. You know, it could, be, uh, it could, it could not be desirable to have the, in the streets an enormous amount of of uh, nuclear reactors, right? You can imagine what a crash could it be. So any guess who was this guy? No, just try. No, uh, the, the idea of the automotive powered by fusion, by nuclear fusion. Yeah, but... Yeah, that's what I'm getting at. Uh, okay, no. It's this car. It's a hint. Just try. And it's not Batman. For sure. No? Okay, it was Henry Ford. You know? Yeah. Stupid ideas from a big man. Okay, number dos. Or invention number two, cars with jet engine. Um, in this, in the '54 project was initially to make cars based on principles of aeronautics. A car with a jet engine. This model has 80% few parts, and it was really, really good. The engine was small, and it could even work with whiskey in the tank. Yeah, <laughs> and. The cons was very, very slow acceleration. Metal allows development was needed to, to, the, to allow the high temperatures of the turbine. Manufacturing costs were too high, but they made, they, uh, they built this car 
Do you have any hint? You want to guess? No? It was Chrysler. Things you, you won't imagine, right? Okay. Telephone to communicate with dead people. This man, at the end of his career, he, be, he, he believed that there was an invisible source of electronical that could communicate people uh, with the dead people. For that research, he decided to spend a lot of money researching this project. I think I don't have to talk about the cons, right? You want to know who is this guy? Yes, we do. Huh? Yeah, we want to know. You, we won't try to guess? Edison. Thomas Alva Edison. You won't believe. Okay, concrete made uh, one piece house. This man proposed an actually manufacture injection molds in order to manufacture concrete house just from one piece. He also designed the same uh, models to manufacture furniture. I, you know, I can't imagine trying to, to clean my bed and have to move a concrete bed, right? Okay, you want to know? Try to guess? No? You don't know? Thomas Alva Edison too. Electrical tower to load remotely by, electro, by uh, electric airplanes. This man built a long, built on Long Island the first tower. Um, the main idea is to build a network of towers that will wireless charge airplanes and even direct planes with people in the planes, obviously. Um, the cost of building the network was too high, technical development system was not really clear, and at uh, uh, that time there are no technology enough. Who you think this guy is? <laughs> Edison again? <laughs> you want to try? Okay. It was Nikola Tesla. And he spent a lot of money on that. He, he did poor. Okay. Now I'm going to talk about the importance of uh, quality in innovation, right? And to, to do a lot of research. You know this uh, element, right? The plutonium. Okay, it was discovered by Marie Curie, and someone in Pittsburgh, it decided it would be great to make medicine about of plutonium. So a lot of people were having medicine that is radioactive. So uh, you can see this kind of bigger radium. Uh, at some point, people thought consuming this element was drinking, uh, you know, it's an energetic, just like Red Bull or something like that. So we never know what, I'm, what we're drinking. And even though they make, uh, this guy in Pittsburgh make Raditor uh, that uh, was commercialized uh, by this guy in Pittsburgh and this product promote you as an um, auxiliary to increase your sexual abilities. They know it has some troubles when a man just drink uh, 1,400 of bottles and his um, jaw just fall to the ground. So they know they have a trouble there, right? So be careful what you're drinking. So by, by the other side, we, we have some successful histories. Like this uh, company, 3M, I said, uh, the, the engine of innovation for 3M is providing solutions to problems of customers. Mm. Um, his innovation policy is really great because they talk that if errors appear, but if the person has a good capacity, his mistakes are not as important, right? <coughs> and in some companies we know errors are almost your dead, yeah. So that's why people are afraid to, to have mistakes, 
they, they don't want to innovate, they don't want to create something new. And that something is really stopping us. I think we should focus on trying to develop. Um, just I um, want to conclude with some famous quotes. Uh, the first one I already told you, you have to kiss a lot of frogs to find the, the prince, but remember, find a prince may reward a lot of kiss frogs. Uh, it's insane, it's doing the same thing over and over and expect to have different results. It was from Einstein, and I think that kind of knowledge is, is what we, we need to tell people, no? If you want to achieve uh, what has not yet reached, you need to do what has not yet strived, right? And finally, uh, well, I, I just love this pic about IKEA. You know that company when you buy your furniture and you build your own? Uh, it's like an interview in IKEA. So if you have any questions you want to make, I think it would be fine. <coughs> no? Uh, what is a lateral thinking? You talked about lateral thinking. Okay. Um, it's a different approach in the way you think the, the things, right? Uh, for example, uh, there are a lot, a lot of lateral thinking problems in Internet. Um, what they say is uh, if you think and the way you always think you can never really go to the answer. So it's, um, it's thinking outside the box, you know. The solution is, for example, in factories, solution is not always people, you know. When I need to increase the volume, I need more people. That's wrong. I need technology. That's wrong. There are lateral thinking ways to do more product or to be more profitable or to do things faster or, or cheaper or e even in your life uh, there are several ways to do lateral thinking that that it's um, thinking outside of the traditional ways to think you know we always been teach like uh, one plus one it could be two but you may say half plus one and a half it could be two two right or you can say um, uh, two plus uh, two less uh, zero. It would be two. It's a different. It's a different uh, approach to the knowledge to the to the to the result you want to to have. So I invite you to to look for some lateral thinking uh, troubles in the net and you will really have uh, fun about them. They are really good. <laughs>